Hello, I'm here today to show you Nano Stream Cloud. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics. Don't worry, there are plenty of robust features to explore at a later time. Let's get started. First, we will need to log on. We can use the Bento account that we created in the previous streaming video. In this video, we will be talking about playback security via secure playback tokens. It's important to note that if you want to use the features described in this video, you will need to set up a secure account. If you haven't already, please contact the NanoCosmo sales team for more details. Secure playback tokens are a tool that ensures the highest level of security for your live stream. With tokens, you can decide who can play back your stream. There are two different ways to create a token for a stream. You can create one via our developer API or by setting it up from the dashboard. For the purposes of this video, we are going to use the Bintu dashboard. Once on the dashboard, you can create playback tokens during the creation of a new live stream or on their own separately. We recommend setting one up when you create a new stream. Since we already have a stream for the tutorial series, we will simply browse to the secure playback token section. Once here, we can set the target for a specific stream group, individual streams by name, or the entire organization. For this tutorial, we are going to select entire organization. However, if you are curious about where to find the stream group ID, don't forget to watch the video tutorial which covers stream groups in more detail. Now that we have the target selected, we will need to pick an expiration date and time. By default, the expiration date goes two weeks from the current date, but for this example, we are simply going to set it to expire later today. It's good to note there is also a section for more specific options, where you can set things like client IP as well as user ID and domain name. As a best practice, we recommend restricting the token as much as possible. For this tutorial, we are going to restrict the playback to nanocosmos.de. We will also add a tag to allow easier identification of this token later. Because we are doing a tutorial series, we will add the tag tutorial. Great! Now that we have our options set, we can go ahead and click Create New Token. On the next screen, we are greeted with our secure token information. This can be used in our player config under the security section, and like before, although setting that up is outside the scope of this video, feel free to head over to our developer documentation pages for more information and examples. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more video tutorials in the future. Happy streaming!